let the random variables x and y have joint PDF f of x, y is equal to e to the minus x minus y for x greater than 0 and y greater than 0. So right away you can see the support here is the first quadrant. You can label that as script A here and put some units in on the two axes x and y. The question asks for the probability that x and y will lie inside a circle of radius 2 centered at the xy coordinates 2, 3. The formula for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So that particular circle is this shaded one right here. It is centered at 2, 3 and has a radius of 2. So that circle will correspond to our event of interest, which is A. We are going to have to run the strips up and down or sideways. And in this particular case, it doesn't matter which you choose. So we will run them vertically and you have to figure out what the top curve and what the bottom curve is and in this case the top curve means that we want to solve this equation for y and so that top curve will be y is equal to 3 plus the square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared that is solving this equation for y. The bottom curve will be y is equal to 3 minus the square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared. So in order to set up this integral for the probability that we lie inside the circle, that is the probability x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is less than 4. That's the probability we're interested in. That will be the double integral over the joint density function e to minus x minus y. Since we've run our strips up and down in this case, this will be dy dx and the y value here will go from the lower curve which is 3 minus the square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared that entire quantity underneath the square root and the upper limit will be 3 plus the square root of 4 minus x minus 2 the quantity squared. Now the first of those strips starts right over here and that starts at x equals 0 and the last of the strips ends at x equals 4. So with respect to x these limits go from 0 to 4. Now that is not a pleasant integral to calculate. I did it by using maple. And the result turned out to be to four decimal points, 0 0.2028. So the probability of falling in this circle that is shaded here is 0 0.2028.